clearly climate change is very big and it's here and it's a phenomenally difficult challenge to rise to. And yet we're beginning to see um, the pathways that we can achieve this, whether it be in technology um, or politics or economics. Here in New Zealand, uh, we are playing uh, substantial roles in this, not the least of which is uh, setting ourselves some ambitious but very practical targets um, of being a, a net zero carbon economy by 2050. Um, the Productivity Commission has done very good work on what that transition looks like, but it makes it very clear that over these decades coming, uh, this is an unprecedented change um, of technology and business and political culture and all the like. Yet, New Zealand CEOs are really onto this. There is a Climate Leaders Coalition, and their companies represent about 65% of New Zealand's GDP who are absolutely signed up to this. And I'm very encouraged by that because that makes us very unusual in the world. We have a reasonable degree of political cohesion around this and social cohesion, uh, but a very strong business commitment to this as well. And um, I'm always looking for ways that um, New Zealand can learn from the world, but I'm also always looking for ways that New Zealand um, has great ideas and technologies to take out to the world. So as a business journalist, I'm very focused on those issues in my presentations, in my writing, and in all my radio pieces and the like. And, and that's why it's extraordinarily exciting um, to be engaged on issues like this here in New Zealand at this time.